The mystery continues surrounding the death of a Bakersville man whose body was dropped off at Mission Hospital's ER. Yeah, Asheville police are still looking for the driver, while friends of Logan Pittman are wondering why it happened. 13th, Ashley Searles joins us live from Mission Hospital. Ashley, have police released any new information? Well, today police said that they've that they're asking for the surveillance video from the hospital so that they can get a look at just what unfolded outside the emergency room early Saturday morning. Getting dropped off at a hospital. I mean, that's that's what shocked me the the worst. I mean, if you're going to take somebody to the hospital, at least make sure they're all right and stay with them. I mean, just don't leave them. It's the way that it happened that's left friends stunned. The day after Asheville police revealed that it was the body of 26-year-old Logan Pittman, head slumped and lips blue, that was dropped off at Mission's ER in the wee hours Saturday morning and left there. He was just, he, he was always funny. No matter how, he would always make you laugh. Even if the days was bad, you can always go to Logan for a good day. Friend Alan Kaysen says he lived with Pittman in Bakersville for a while. He's ambitious, energetic. Always, he, he loved attention. He, he talked about his um, grandparents a lot, though. He, lo he loved them. He would do anything for them. Loved ones flooded Pittman's Facebook page today. A childhood friend called the news heartbreaking. Another posting an old football team photo. And still others simply saying he's in a better place now. I thought he would have made it out. I mean, the last I heard, he was doing good. Just life was cut short. Family declined to be interviewed today, but have said that Pittman, who worked at a local apple orchard, had struggled with drugs in the past. Take advantage of every day. I mean, because you're not promised tomorrow. Now, early this afternoon, police said that there had been rumors swirling about a second dead body found possibly connected to this case, but they said those are only rumors. None of those claims have been substantiated for now. Police are still working to identify who the driver was behind the wheel of that pickup truck. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.